Guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I am excited to bring you the first of hopefully many unboxings related to uh, AVP The Hunt Begins. Got something particularly special to show you. Uh, I'm quite excited about this. Uh, it is quite the piece. So, um, just to build upon the video that was released yesterday with respect to the relaunch of the channel. Um, you know, uh, I am absolutely excited to get back into creating content, videos, um, you know, new content uh, unrelated to SBG. Forgive the background. <laughs> That's just the uh, standard filming background. But, um, pardon me, I am uh, I'm very excited to do some unboxings, particularly related to the AVP universe. Excited to see where that can take us, as well as some terrain tutorials things of that nature so in the near future you know expect a lot of uh, aliens versus predator uh, content uh, whether it's painting tutorials terrain unboxings uh, reviews uh, you know I definitely want to touch on the review of the game um, you know I can I can definitely tell you the miniatures are bar none fantastic uh, they've done an excellent job uh, the second edition, they have a new casting process where they are single piece models. Uh, I showed some yesterday. But that is a single cast. I don't know if that'll focus. The detail is absolutely fantastic. They are terrific models. This is one of their multi part models. I'm sure you recognize that beauty. That's one of their multi-part, um, you know, I, I enjoy the models, they're quite nice, but they are rather, um, what would be the word I'm looking for here, uh, they're a little touchy to put together, without a doubt, um, you know, they're not for a, what I would call a board gamer, you know, um, a, an average board gamer, for sure, would probably be the best way to put it, so... Um, really impressed with the stuff that Protoss is putting out. Uh, what I'm going to do next is jump you guys up onto the tripod. I'm going to do the special unboxing, take you through the awesomeness that is sitting right here beside me. Like, it's right here. It's right here, and it's awesome. So, I'm going to uh, do a quick video of that, take you through what we've got. And uh, the idea is, for this large piece of goodness that's sitting beside me, I'm going to take you along the entire way from the process of, uh, you know, assembly, cleaning, cleaning, priming, painting, detailing, yada, yada, yada. So, uh, stay tuned. Give me a second. I'm going to get you up on the tripod and show you the beauty that we have here. Hold on. Okay, guys, here we are. This is the special unboxing for the evening. Um... You know, this box came to me from Protos, special order. Uh, I'm going to let you guess what it is. It is serial number 1000. So, uh, there's a little bit of, hmm, what's the word I would use? Uh, confusion. When these were being marketed, they were being sold as limited to a thousand piece run. So, there's only supposed to be a thousand of them. That number has since crept up. They are still for sale on the Proto site. They are continuing to make more. Uh, you know, whether I agree with that choice or not, I'm just excited for people to get their hands on this because this thing is absolutely amazing. Was I excited about the idea of having number 1000 and it being the last production unit? Absolutely, I was from a collectible standpoint, but uh, bar none, I'm just excited about it. So let's dive into it. This is the box that, uh, that we receive here in the mail. Has the amazing Wayland Utani decal on the side. When we peel this back, we get the official certificate of authenticity. So that is number 1000 of the Wayland Utani Corporation UD4L Cheyenne dropship. So obviously the name says it all this is what you get with the dropship this is the official unboxing I took the wrapper off however I have not gone through the parts yet 
but uh, all I can say is wow. Little bit of cleanup so far from what I'm seeing. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. This looks like one of the missile pods. Fantastic. There's the nose piece. And these are 100% to scale for the 28 millimeter. So to give you an idea, that's the size of a Predator. That's the size of the nose with the human or the marine pilot. And let me just grab you an actual marine. Here is one of the marines from the starter box. So as you can see, scale wise, I think they've nailed it. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. And uh, I know personally, I cannot wait to get this puppy assembled and start putting some paint to it. The detail in the uh, in the cockpit is incredible. Uh, it looks absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. This would be the other sub-assembly for the uh, engine. Looks like the other uh, missile pod, clearly. I hope. <laughs> I believe that is the front landing gear. Or the rear. I can't recall now. Another assembly bag. Another bag with some more missiles. like a tail wing. Uh, I will say that there is definitely some uh, release agent 100% and, and a slight amount of cleanup that needs to take place but uh, not, not too bad. Not too bad. Definitely not the worst I've seen. Um, you can definitely tell. I don't know if you can see the color variation but this particular kit uh, was most certainly not not a single, not made from the same material, I guess you could say. Uh, two different colors of resin, so I would imagine that this is assembled piecemeal, you know, so they'll cast the separate parts and then the assembly occurs. I don't think it's all cast in one, uh, and I'm just making that assumption based on the Resin work and the color of the resin that is the main hold. This will fit a um, Protoss Games um, uh, APC, will fit directly into the hold. And this right here is the, the ramp for that, I believe. I think I'm not entirely sure. I'm gonna have to play with it. Yeah, that's the top. That's the top, and then that's going to go in. Anyways, you get the idea. All in all, very, very impressed. Um, the shipping... Uh, the shipping and whatnot was quite impressive. Um, I did not order it that long ago. I got a notification that uh, they were working on the order. And shortly thereafter, I got a UPS notice on my door stating that uh, they had made a delivery attempt. So I drove into town today, uh, or this evening, I'm sorry, and uh, picked it up from UPS because I wanted it. I didn't want to wait for it, and I'm quite happy that I did. So, gentlemen, that is the Cheyenne dropship from Protos Games. Uh, as I said, there's going to be a number of videos related to this coming up. Um, obviously, I'm going to take you through the assembly, the prep, as well as um, you know the, the painting of of this ship. Uh, I am completely excited about this. 
Um, just just some of the cool features, like this kind of stuff. Just for a for a fan, really makes this stand out. So to get a certificate like this, to get this cool box, um, you know, uh, I have to wait and see once it is once it is, is assembled if it is still going to fit into the box. I don't know. Frankly, don't care. The box is cool enough. Uh, you know, I'm gonna try to make it some sort of transportation for my miniatures for the game or whatever. You know, it will be utilized, but uh, a very cool feature nonetheless. So. Uh, if AB, AVP is your thing, stay tuned because there's going to be lots of this content coming up. Um, and hats off to Protos for the absolutely cool uh, presentation as well as the stunning model. Uh, I can't wait to get it assembled and go a little more in depth uh, as far as the review goes of the product. So stay tuned, guys. Thanks for stopping by the channel. And uh, we will most certainly catch up soon.